Hello everyone. Myself and Uma Mageshwari, Assistant Professor of Physics from KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Trichangur. Today I am going to discuss about the topic interference. Let's see the introduction of the interference. Interference is an effect that occurs when two or more waves overlap. In general, the individual waves do not affect one another and the total wave amplitude at any point in space is simply the sum of the amplitude of the individual waves at that point. So next we see the types of interference. So the types of interference is the constructive interference, destructive interference. Constructive interference. It is a type of interference where the two interfering waves have a displacement in the same direction. Destructive interference. It is a type of interference where the two interfering waves have a displacement in the opposite direction. Here we see the images for the interference that occurring in the waveform before the interference occur and the during the interference. We just see the differences that occurs in the two waveforms. So next, the principle of the superposition of waves. According to the principle of superposition, when two or more waves overlap, the resultant displacement of any point at any instant may be formed by adding the instantaneous displacements that would be produced at the point by the individual waves if which were present alone. The principle of superposition of waves states that when two or more waves are incident on the same point, the total displacement at that point is equal to the vector sum of the displacement of the individual waves. If a crest of a wave meets a crest of another wave of the same frequency at the same point, then the magnitude of the displacement is the sum of the individual magnitudes. This is constructive interference. If a crest of one wave meets a trough of another wave, then the magnitude of the displacements is equal to the difference in the individual magnitudes that which is known as the destructive interference. Here the image is clearly seen about the destructive interference of the continuous waveform. Con constructive interference occurs when the phase difference between the waves is a multiple of 2 pi. It's the discretive inter interference occurs when the difference is an odd multiple of the pi. Interference is a phenomenon in which two waves superimpose to form a resultant wave of greater or lower amplitude. If the difference between the phases is intermediate between these two extremes, then the magnitude of the displacement of the summed waves lies between the mi minimum and maximum values. The mechanism of the interference occurrence is it must between the it occurs must between the two plane waves and also between two spherical waves. It should be in the radio waveform and also the optical interference. So examples of the interferences. Interference effects can be observed with all types of waves. For example, light, radio waves, acoustic, surface water waves. In this slide, we see the surface water waves that occur uh, surface water waves due to the occurrence of the interference fringes. So next we are going to see the Young's interference experiment. Young's interference experiment also called as the Young's double split interferometer. As early as in 1665, Grimaldi attempted to produce the interference between the two beams of light. He directed sunlight into a dark room through two pinholes in a screen with an expectation that bright and dark band would be observed in the area where the beams overlap on each other. He, observed, he also observed the uniform illumination instead. In 1801, about 136 years, Thomas A. gave the first demonstration of the interference of the light waves. 
he admitted the sunlight through a single pinhole and then directed the emerging light that coming from the pinhole interfered with each other and a few color fringes were observed at the screen so it was the original version of the modern double slit experiment performed at the beginning of the 19th century by thomas eng the result of the eng's double slit experiment should be very different if light is a wave or a particle in eng's experiment two very narrow parallel slits separated by a distance monochromatic light as light from a distant light source pour passes through the slits and eventually hits your screen so the wavelength of the particular particle is written as xd divided by nl the light waves emanating from each slit are superposed on the screen if the waves are out of phase in this pic image so in this image we are clearly seen about the destructive interference and then also the occurrence of the constructive interference it's also resulting in a dark patch on the screen is known as the destructive interference the bright patch on the screen is known as the constructive interference if the waves are completely in phase this is also called as a constructive interference thank you